Hi guys, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. It's Lisa. Time for some sad day. Okay, hi guys. How are you? Um, I'm doing okay. It's been uh, an interesting week, you know, with everything that's happening, you know, the riots and stuff. And here in Arizona, we actually have curfew until the 8th of June. We have to be in, but it's from 8 o'clock p.m. to 5, I think it is, 5 a.m. So, yeah. Because the people broke into um, a very high-end mall in Scottsdale and you guys have probably seen the footage if not you can google it and it will show you and it was lots of different a rainbow and a array of different faces that was doing this right so yeah anyway something came from that and I'm going to get to that a little later in the chat part when I'm going to show you what I got. I did go to Goodwill and um, I got some clothes, but I'm not even going to show you the clothes. I'm going to show you this. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I got this. A Paca Fairy. Paca Fairy. This is so funny to me. Jar. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I found that. Don't remember how much it was, but you know Lisa don't pay so much for nothing. So, And I also got this. Everything else was clothing. I got this. Now the girl thought it was one piece and she was getting ready to charge me just some. This cost six dollars, which was a little bit more than what Lisa liked to pay, but I liked it. So it's like um mercury glass. And these were separate. So I actually told her that they were separate. So it's like one, two, three. It's four of them. And I'm gonna do something. It's not necessarily gonna be like that, but I thought that was nice. I'll find some place to, to put it in my house. But you know what? We're just going to get into the discussion. How about that? We're not even going to talk about nothing else because I'm excited about this one. All right. Now, those of you who actually watch my videos already know that I'm in a group. Or I was in a group on Facebook and um, they would say all kinds of crazy stuff. I have recently um, unsubscribed. Is it unsubscribed? unfriend that group I got out of the group because they were saying some stuff that I did not agree with and I know it's not all about my opinion but my opinion is my opinion and if I think they're saying something that's just totally crazy I have to excuse myself from that and back out and that's exactly what I did I'm, I'm done with them but I have a friend who I actually know this girl she's actually a friend I met her when I lived in Vermont and she, okay, I'm wondering why that's doing this. Okay. She's very controversial. She has a lot to say about shit that she does not know what she's talking about. About. So, yeah, sometimes, some of the things that she says, I'll just let go. But some things I have to speak on. And I've said to the people on my Facebook, those of you who are friends with me on Facebook saw this already. If you do not want me to speak on something that you post it shows up on my page either unfriend me or you have the options of choosing when you post everyone or all my friends except put my name in the except because if you post it and I disagree and I feel like commenting on it I'm going to comment on it so whether you like it or not that's just the way it is so with that being said we're just going to go ahead and get into this all right so, just in case you're wondering, I'm using Secret Hand Cream with Shea Butter. Alright, so what I'm going to do is just read it to you. She said, this is something that was not told by the media that you can clearly see from a security camera that George Floyd dropped a baggie containing a white substance when he was, when he was sat next to the, to the what? To the wall. 
I still believe the officers need to be held accountable for his death, but this is also something that people should have been informed about and maybe they might not have had so many riots. So the riots was about him dropping a baggie? Or the riots were about them not telling people that he dropped a baggie? What? Anyway. Okay. Um, I learned about this through Candace Owens video. This video is a must watch all the way to the end. No, this video is a must watch all the way to the end. I applaud this young lady. She definitely tells it like it is. Okay. I didn't know who the hell Candace Owens was. I've heard people talking about it, but I didn't know who the hell she was. And um, I listen. This girl has um, two videos posted right here. And one of them is this Candace Owen person. And I actually listened to a little bit of her video until she started talking about, she started talking about how she went dig digging for information about um, um, Floyd. And she talked about his criminal past and this and that and that. And I hate how when something happens like this and the lawyers or whoever is involved try to bring in somebody's past, like that's supposed to make a difference in what somebody did to them. So this is basically what she's doing. So when I started hearing that, I clicked off the video. So I don't even I didn't even listen to it all the way. I had heard enough. So um and then there was another video here. I'm gonna try to post both of them so you guys can see. There's another video here of when they had him up against the wall, like like this girl said. And um something did drop well, something was on the ground. I don't couldn't tell if it dropped from him or not. And it was a little tiny white speck. So I don't know how they got a baggie with white substance in it from what I saw in that video. So I'm going to post it so you guys can see if you can tell me if you saw white powder. There was a white dot on the ground. That that was it. That fell from somewhere on the ground. And he was handcuffed. So he had it in his hand. Anyway, that's neither near here nor there. Let me finish telling you. Of course, you know, there were people that responded. You know who responded. Okay, one said, why isn't this going viral? She definitely makes a valid point and is spot on. Okay. Then my friend replies, she needs to go viral. So I figured if I made this and people keep sharing it, maybe it would reach enough people to start making a difference. I said, making a difference. I said the people that it would make a difference to are the ones that that's not really involved in this anyway. So what are you talking about? Anyway. Okay. And then someone else said, it's effed up because statistics, not opinions, show blacks murder blacks at a higher percentage. Look it up. The Justice Department post it. Again, I do not feel Mr. Floyd deserved to die, and I pray the bastard responsible gets the max. However, it is hypocritical to say black lives matter only in certain situations. It's insane. I'm a North, northern white girl living in the South for the past 24 years. I've seen racism. My grandchildren are mixed. I don't know why they feel the need to, to say that. Anyway, I am an open-minded... Those are your damn grandkids. I'm an open-minded... I'm as open-minded as my conservative... Well, as any conservative could imagine. I have listened to both sides and not easily influenced. I research and look up fact finders. I pray for our divided country. Now, my thing is you're looking up and you fact finding, but who's to say those fact finders are correct? They have to come from somewhere too. They have to come from a person. So that doesn't mean it's right just because you Googling and Google says this. Moving right along. They're quick to people. When I say they, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to bite my tongue. Quick to talk about, well, black people kill black people. Yes, they do. They do. But that is so not what this is about right now. We're not talking about that. We're talking about something totally different. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So my friend says, I also hope. Oh, no. No, no, no. Sorry. I already read that. Okay. You know, she said, I also hope the bastards responsible get the maximum. But we know they belong to the brotherhood. So who knows but all but all involved because what? There was three on him and one standing there watching. So the brotherhood, I guess that's the secret code for anyway. The one standing there, if he believed they were in the wrong, 
then call for help to get them off. Don't just stand there while a man dies. They are all guilty. I also hate the term BLM, Black Lives Matter, because it's a discrimination against me and any other couple. Girl, this ain't got shit to do with you. What the to... fuck are you talking about? Anyway, the term needs to be all lives matter. It does not matter the color of the, the one's skin. I would totally agree. All lives do matter. But this situation is at the black one. It's about the black one. Bye. All right, I said, I don't believe the rights were because of what happened to him, Lord. I think folks of many nationalities, demographics, and ethnic ethnicities, et, ethnicity, <laughs> ethnicities just use that situation as an opportunity to steal and act ratchet. I believe that having a neat cutting off life does not justify anything he supposedly did. I would not call him a martyr because on the video, if you watch the video, this Candace chick said that he was a martyr and a hero. We looking at him as that and that all the stuff that he did. He was not. Okay. So I said, I would not call him a martyr or a hero, but I just so happened. But it just so happened that this time he was the face associated with being Hired. It could have been anyone in that instance. It could have been the dog across the street barking. It could anyone, anything, whatever. It could have been. Now, speaking of that, if the neck, the knee was on the dog's neck, this would be a totally different. Yeah. So anyway, um, most people miss the point and always bring it back to the victim's past. So what if he was on drugs? This is me still talking. So what if they found him them in his system? So what if he dropped 50 baggies of white, 50 baggies of white powder? The big picture is how his life ended. This is not the first time something of this magnitude has happened. I believe folks need to stop putting the blame on the victim's past life and think about whether that's more important than having it taken away. This girl does not speak for me nor represent how I feel. Talking about this Candace chick. Um nor represent how I should feel. She can have several seats, have a tall frosted glass of shut the fuck up and miss me with the unnecessary bullshit. That's what I said. Now, my friend said, I'm not saying that his life was not important. And yes, those officers should be held accountable, but this going out and destroying your neighbors and the business people's hard earned livelihood, she spelled that wrong. It's totally criminal. If it was a white man, now this is the part that got me. If it was a white man that had died there, if if it had been a white man that died, there would not, she has no commas or anything. There would not be looting and rioting. They feel this gives them a right to go out and steal. They should all be held accountable accountable for this stupidity. And she said they. I don't know who the hell she talked about. They. But anyway, I said, responded back to her. As I said, the rioting was an opportunity. I still say that. This is not about the rioting, ho. I mean, yeah. Anyway, um, we would never know what would happen if a white man was in this situation because it has never, ever happened to one. Not sure who the they are that you're referring to and not sure if you are aware or not, but there were a rainbow of faces participating in the foolery. So therefore a huge part of that stupidity as well. She said, it does not matter if they are brown, black, white, or yellow or red. If they are looting and rioting, they all deserve to be held accountable to the fullest extent of the law because what they're doing is criminal. She's right, and I like that part, even though that ain't had nothing to do with what I was saying, but okay. Anyway, it had a little bit to do with it. She said, I said, 
No, it does not. And I agree wholeheartedly with you on that. But when you mention the part about a white man and they, it implies something different. You know what it... She said, after I said they, white man and they, it implies something different. She says, it makes a difference. Does it make a difference in the color of skin? The skin... Ugh. Does it make a difference in the color of the skin of a man that holds a gun to a pregnant woman's stomach, whether it's, it is right or wrong? Or would it be wrong no matter if you were black, brown, red, yellow, white, or purple with pink polka dots? What the fuck are you talking about? So, God, tell me, what does it have to do with a man on the ground with a knee in his neck? On his neck? What, what the hell? I, I'm understanding. My husband told me that supposedly um, Floyd had done this to somebody he was in a relationship with at some time. I'm not saying that it's right or wrong. That it's wrong. I mean, excuse me, that it's right. But what does it have to do with this? Okay, I said, okay, girl. Obviously, you don't get it, but it's okay because most of you don't. And I know, I'm sure she knows what I mean by most of you. I don't bite my tongue, white people. Most of you don't get it. I mean, I'm just going to say, it. let's leave it here because I actually like you. Thanks. And that was it. That was all I said to her. So, guys. I'm a little annoyed. I'm a little irritated because I was outside. First of all, mosquitoes was biting me. You can't even sit outside without mosquitoes biting you all under my dress and stuff. Just so disrespectful. So I'm annoyed at that. I have mosquito bites now. So I, I have nothing against white people. I really don't. And I'm not going to say I have a lot of white friends. I'm not going to say that because it's not necessary to say that. But I will say that a lot of people of that are not black I wouldn't say just just white people a lot of people that are not black do not get it because it does not affect you like it affects us so you'll never be able to understand and when you say something like all lives matter yes they do matter but we're not talking about all that my lives right now it wasn't all lives that was on the ground it was a black life so that's what this is about we didn't ask the people to go riot and rob and I mean Floyd didn't ask them to do that they just saw it as an opportunity to go steal stuff and it was lots of different colors that was out there it wasn't just because of that that they decided to write because if that's the case they could have done that anyway anytime it's not that he's a hero it's not that he's a, a martyr it just so happened that this happened at a time when it happened to him and people just snapped whatever they did they did I, I don't know but I don't think personally it was because of what happened to him that people decided to loot and rob and act. they just wanted to steal shit. That's, that was pretty much that. So for, for them, them meaning black, white, gray, purple, whoever, to bring up the fact that black people kill more black people than they did, I don't understand why they even bring that up. Why was that even a part of this conversation? If we had been talking about statistics like that, then yes. We're talking about statistics according to what black people do to other black people. And when you're in a situation, when you're in a certain race, the things that I do to someone of my race is different from the things that someone of another race do to me. So you can't even compare that. So that's just like an unwritten rule. Regardless of whether it's wrong or whether it's right, you just can't compare those two. So for her to even say that, girls... And for the most part, there are people, there are black people that say that too. And it is totally true. But the majority of the people that say that are other. So, guys, let me know what you think. Um, I'm not going to put anybody down for their opinion because I have my opinion just like everybody else has their opinion. And um, to this Candace Owen chick, 
I don't know you and I really don't want to know you but I'm gonna try to find this other video my husband was watching about this guy that was kind of responding to the things that she said excuse me and he actually made a lot of sense in what he was saying because I think she said something like or he said that she said something like we send we like to um, celebrate our words or something like that and he made mention of Columbus Day and Thanksgiving and stuff like that where those people those people meaning the pilgrims and you know whatever that stole the land from the Indians so we're celebrating that is that their best I mean so I understood exactly where he was coming from so I'm just gonna post the video down there instead of me trying to tell you guys exactly what it said you can watch the video because he made some valid points now those of you who want to come after me for what I said Please save it because you're not going to get nothing. I'm just going to let you know. All you're going to get from me is frustration. I said what I said. And I meant what I said. And that's pretty much that. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think down below. Um, thank you for watching. Yeah. So I will talk to you guys later. Take care. Be good. Try to be good. But if you can't be good, be good at it. Thank you.